Welcome everyone. Today we keep on talking about how we can use uh, Custom Copilot built uh, with uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio. And I'm going to show you how you can use a bit uh, of SharePoint framework to host uh, a Custom Copilot in a SharePoint uh, online uh, site. So like always, let me share a bit of a context and then we will move to the uh, demo environment. So. We have already seen in the previous episode that we can uh, easily build a custom copilot uh, on top of content that we have uh, in SharePoint Online, like document in a document library, for example. But it would be really nice uh, to be able to have uh, access to the custom copilot, not only from the uh, Teams chat, for example, but also from the UI of the SharePoint Online site where we have the content. So that rather than uh, relying on the regular search capability, which is always really cool and powerful, we can also rely on a chatbot based on the custom copilot to uh, provide a prompt to search for content inside our documents. So how can we do that? Let me show you. So first of all, this is uh, the document library and hypothetical HR uh, side that we've been already using in the previous demos in this series. And here we have a bunch of documents about uh, HR. We have in uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio a, a custom copilot that uh, we have built uh, in the previous weeks, and you can have a look to the previous videos if you want to dig into it. And here we have uh, specifically an HR copilot uh, demo that we created through which uh, we can uh, query our documents and search inside the content of our documents using single sign-on and all the capabilities that allow the end user to have a smooth uh, user experience. And of course, we can do that from Teams, as I was telling you. So I can say, for example, I don't know, something like, how can I improve my career? And through the boat, I can get an answer based on the content, the actual content that I have in my document. But I also want to be able to make the same kind of queries using an integrated chatbot integrated with the SharePoint Online UI. So this is my HR site. And as you can see here, I have a custom copilot button that I can select. And by selecting this button, I will be able to use a dialogue through which I can start talking with single sign-on, as you can see. So I already have my current user authenticated against the uh, uh, custom copilot, I can start uh, uh, providing prompt to this copilot. So for example, how can we hire new employees or stuff like that? Okay, so I can use it and it is fully integrated with the UI of SharePoint Online. So if we are fully focused on SharePoint Online, we don't need to switch to Teams, but we can stay in SharePoint Online and keep on working using uh, Copilot and uh, all the content that we have. It is now working and I will see my, uh, my answer. And here it is with all of the reference to the document. Now, what we are using here to achieve this goal is a sample solution that Microsoft provided under the uh, Microsoft organization in the Copilot Studio Samples uh, repository. And specifically, this is the SharePoint single sign-on component. In this component, which is a SharePoint framework component, we have a solution that you can uh, download from the uh, GitHub repository. You can slightly customize from a settings point of view. And then you can deploy on your own custom tenant to have the uh, solution up and running in your environment. So step by step, let's see what we need to do to achieve this goal. And first of all, I will switch to the SharePoint framework solution to give you an idea of what we have available. So let me go here and this is my SharePoint framework solution. As you can see in the package JSON file, I have a SharePoint framework 118 solution. So almost the latest one one that we have. And what is interesting is that it is also based on the bot framework web chat uh, package, which is a dependency uh, installed in this solution. So we are going to rely on this web chat component to have the actual rendering of the UI of the chatbot. Then we have an application customizer, which is used to provide to the end user the uh, bottom bar with the button you can click. Of course, you can customize it as like uh, as you want. You can create your own solution. You can just take inspiration from this sample solution. In the application customizer, we are simply going to render in the 
placeholder for the bottom section of the screen, we are going to render a component, a React component, which is this chatbot component. The chatbot component is a React component available in the sample solution, which relies on a PVA chatbot dialogue, where we have the actual code uh, hosting the web chat uh, uh, bot framework component. And in fact, if we look at this PVA chatbot dialogue, it is a functional component in React. We have a bunch of settings and we have all of the uh, plumbing to handle the rendering of the uh, chatbot dialogue connected to a specific instance of a bot in, uh, built in Copilot Studio. And if we look at it, we can see all of the uh, different options that can be handled, like the greeting uh, or other options uh, to uh, manage the uh, sign-in of the user and stuff like that. So here we have all of the logic to render and to handle the rendering of the chatbot. You can just reuse this uh, code without the need to dig into it. But of course, if you want, you can, you can dig into it a little bit more. Now, once you have downloaded the solution, you have built the solution, and eventually you will need to slightly adjust something like uh, some of the uh, uh, ES uh, lint uh, rules and stuff like that to make it uh, build uh, and make it ready to go. You can then configure the solution in order to have in the uh, deployment section, in the uh, XML file of the feature framework of SharePoint to do the actual deployment, to have some of the settings uh, which will rely on the URL of the bot that you want to consume and stuff like that. In order to do that, you can, of course, uh, handle manually the settings in the XML file, which is one option that you have. But this solution also provides you with a Python file that you can run uh, the very first time that you create and you package the solution and running this Python file, you can simply provide all of the settings that now we need to see uh, what they are and how you can uh, build them. So, and just for the sake of completeness, I'm also provided, and I'm going to uh, make a pull request uh, for this solution, uh, a PowerShell script with PMP PowerShell, which does almost the same using PMP PowerShell instead of Python. The settings that we need to use are the settings of an application that we need to register in Entra ID to make it possible to consume, securely consume with single sign-on, the uh, bot and the uh, custom compiler that we created with uh, Copilot Studio from within the uh, SharePoint uh, framework uh, uh, custom solution. So uh, step by step, let's go through all of the uh, settings that we need to uh, define and uh, all of the steps that we need to accomplish. So first of all, I created a, a new uh, site. So I'm going to deploy this solution onto this uh, uh, target site. In this target site, once you have uploaded in the app catalog of your um, target tenant the SPPKG of your solution, you can then go to any site of your choice. And if you go under site contents, you will be able to add a new application and you can rely on an application from your organization, which will be this uh, uh, PVA stands for uh, Power Filter Agents, which was the former name of uh, uh, Microsoft Cloud Studio, um, Copilot Studio, sorry. And now that the solution has been added, we can go back and we can start configuring the solution. As you will see by refreshing this page, I will already have the button, but right now the button is not working because I need to do some additional steps. First of all, in order to consume my custom Copilot, I will need to go to Entra ID and register a new application. So let's do that. I will call my application HR Copilot Demo Canvas because this will be the Canvas application I'm going to use. If you want to use it on multiple tenants, you can define it as a multi-tenant application. And then once it has been registered, you will need to uh, take uh, into account the ID of your application, which you will need to use as one of the settings uh, in the uh, application that you are going to uh, activate on uh, SharePoint Online through SharePoint Framework. And then you will have to go to the authentication section and you can configure a platform which has to be a single page application in this scenario because it will work like uh, a, uh, a mobile application, the uh, chatbot. Here in the redirect URI, you will have to specify the URL of the home page of your site so that you will start the authentication from the home page of your site. And let's do that. And we need to enable that we want to use of uh, 12 support for access tokens and ID tokens. 
Once you have done that, you also need to go under the API permission section. And in order to have support for single sign-on for your custom chatbot, you have to add a permission, which has to be a permission for an application that uh, it is available in your organization. Let me search for the HR Copilot. And if you uh, remember, or if you have a look to the uh, previous episode, we created a reader application, which is the one we use to have the actual single sign-on inside the Teams. Well, we can use the same application and we can allow this Canvas application to have the custom permission scope in order to consume that specific reader application so that we can get access to the custom copilot. And once you have done that, if you select this permission, you should copy the um, permission scope with the whole application ID because it will become useful pretty soon. You also need to remember to grant the permissions for this application. So once you have done that, you can go back again to the PowerShell script, for example, and you can just paste the uh, custom scope. One last thing that you need to do is to go to your custom copilot. And if you open the settings and you go to channels, by opening the mobile app channel, you can copy the uh, endpoint for your application. By using this endpoint for this custom copilot and pasting the value right here in the bot URL, you will then be able to target your specific site, providing the URL of the bot that you want to target, a bit of descriptions like the name of the bot in the dialog and the name on the button that you want to select, the custom scope and the ID, and the authority, which is the loginmax.online.com slash common in this case, because this is a multi-tenant registered application. So I can configure all of these settings all of this variable, I can connect to my target environment and I will be able to get a reference to the uh, custom uh, uh, application customizer that I defined right before so that we can see that in that one we have a set of properties available and what we can do we can update the properties for that application so let's do run selection and we can then update and do the invoke PMP query and once we have done that we then will be able to run the uh, solution and being able to see the uh, exactly the experience that we've seen before. So we can open the dialog by clicking on the custom copilot button. We can see the uh, web chat showing up and we can have the interaction uh, inside the UI of SharePoint Online. Just uh, as a recap, uh, you have a step-by-step -step list of uh, uh, tasks to accomplish to uh, configure this kind of solution in your own environment. And for your convenience, a bunch of uh, useful links, uh, including uh, the very first one, which is uh, the announcement from Microsoft about the availability of this sample solution. Then the GitHub repository where you can find a solution and a couple of links uh, about how the security and the authentication work uh, under the cover. And that's it for me too, Visa. So back to you. Thank you. Excellent, Paolo. Before you stop sharing, uh, just to recap yeah. on this is just a one reference sample solution for SPFX. You can implement Definitely. that uh, UX in SharePoint site any way you want. So, but this is a yeah. provided by Microsoft as an ex reference sample. Uh, there's multiple ways of exposing that chat, uh, or you can modify the solution based on your needs as well. So it's not a Definitely. model yeah. dialogue or so on. So it is up to you as a developer. Yeah.